In this video, we'll be doing a geometry word problem which contains a quadratic equation. Taylor finds a piece of property in the shape of a right triangle. She finds that the longer leg is 10 meters shorter than twice the length of the shorter leg, and the hypotenuse is 20 meters longer than the longer leg. Find the lengths of the sides of the triangular lot. So my first thing that I would do is to draw a right triangle with um, obviously shorter leg and a longer leg. And I'll assign my variables on this diagram. The longer leg is 10 meters shorter than twice the shorter leg. So I need to let the shorter leg be my variable because then I can um, assign an expression to my longer leg. So let's let my shorter leg be S. Now the longer leg, which is this one, is 10 shorter, so that means I'm going to subtract 10 from something, 10 shorter than twice the length of the shorter leg. So twice the shorter leg is going to be 2s. And the hypotenuse is 20 longer than, so the hypotenuse, which is across from the right angle, is 20 longer than, so I'm going to add 20 onto something, uh, 20 longer than the longer leg. Now the longer leg is this expression right here, so um, I, I'll be adding 20 on to 2s minus 10. Now this expression uh, simplifies to 2s plus 10. So these are the three uh, expressions that I'm going to be working with for my right triangle. And we know that uh, the Pythagorean theorem tells us uh, that when we have a right triangle, the squares of the two legs, so a squared plus b squared, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, so c squared. So I'll just go ahead and let S be my A and 2S minus 10 be my B and 2S plus 10 will be my C. And I'll fill those expressions into the Pythagorean theorem here. So I have S squared plus 2S minus 10 squared is equal to my hypotenuse squared, 2s plus 10 squared. Now I'm just going to um, square these out, um, s squared plus, and you may want to write this uh, twice, multiply it by itself, and use FOIL. Um, I know that that product, when I square this binomial, is 4s squared minus, this times this is negative 20s, doubled is negative 40s, and then plus 100. And then on the right side, when I square this binomial, I'll have 4s squared and then 2s times 10 is 20s, doubled is 40s, and then plus 100. Now I can see some things that are canceling right off the bat here. I'm going to subtract 4s squared from both sides, and I'm going to subtract 100 from both sides just to simplify my equation a little bit. And so I have s squared minus 40s 
equals 40x. Right, I'm going to get a 0 on the right side, so I'll subtract 40s from both sides. This goes away, and I have 0 on the right side. And s squared minus 80s is equal to 0. So I can use the 0 factor property here. I'll, I'll factor out an s. And then I'll be left with an S in the first term minus 80 in the second term. Now the zero factor property says that if you have two or more factors multiplied together and their product is zero, then one of the factors is zero or the other factor is zero. If s is 0, then that triangle would be non-existent. So I'm not even going to consider this uh, solution. But if I add 80 to both sides here, I'll get s is equal to 80. So I now have um, 80 as one of the signs. So I'm going to come back up here. Um, S is 80 meters, and then my other leg is 2S minus 10, so 2 times 80 is 160, subtract 10 would be 150, so my other leg is 150 meters, and then my hypotenuse is 2s plus 10, so um, 2 times 80 is 160, plus 10 is going to be 170 meters. So these are the three lengths of the sides of my triangular plot.